You think you're above the law. But I'm not the law. So you should start running, because I'm going to start hunting. And when I find you, I'm going to kill you all. Well, Jack Reacher is back. That's the Tom Cruise character that first showed up on the screen a few years ago in an action-packed thriller. The kind I like it is not as sophisticated or gadget-driven as the Mission Impossible series with Cruise. This is much more simplistic based on the series of novels by Lee Child. This new one is called Jack Reacher Never Go Back. And as a critic, you might be tempted to say, yeah, they never should have gone back, except not this time. Uh, they've got a great director here, Ed Zwick, and he's taken the series up a couple of notches, I think. At its center is Cruz, who is the perfect action star, and he's aging now. You see the lines in his face. He's older, and he plays that to the hilt in a movie that's kind of a throwback to the uh, action pictures of the 70s that are a little more grit and a little less spectacular, trying to impress you at every turn. This one uh, has a plot where a Reacher who really is kind of like a character out of the Old West. He's that loner that rides into town and takes care of business and then rides out a mysterious guy. He's that way. Who the hell are you? The guy you didn't count on. He's a former colonel in the army, and he had the job that his friend Major Susan Turner, played by Kobe Smulders here, of How I Met Your Mother fame, and she's a tough-as-nails colonel there in the army, but she is now being accused of espionage. My men were shot by one of our own. This is bigger than I imagined. Uh, there's also mysterious killings of soldiers going on here, and none of it is their fault. She wants to get to the bottom of this mystery on her own, but Reacher has other ideas out to help, and he knows how to do it. There is a character called The Hunter, who's the evil guy, the bad guy here, and he's out after them, particularly Reacher, and they get into the usual action fights and chases and throwing people off buildings and out of windows. But it's all oddly believable with stunts that you can really believe that these actors are doing themselves. I also like the developing relationship between Reacher and Susan in this movie. It's very believable and quite a nice touch that's added to the mix here. There's this big dent in the desk. People say you made it with someone's head. Which is mostly good old fashioned action on display here and Tom Cruise as usual better than ever he rules in this role and fits him like a glove immensely entertaining and lots of fun I say go